Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the Ninja channel and the end of the year is almost here. I mean, it's literally coming so close uh, and because it is so close, I just wanted to revise um, what the next uh, year will bring us because there's a lot of really good games and a lot of really cool stuff to look forward to and I just think that uh, I'm very, very excited for next year. There's just so much to look forward to and here are my favorite 10 things that I'm looking forward to in no particular order or anything like that. This isn't like a, like a important to more important list or anything like that. This is just kind of like games and stuff that I'm looking forward to for next year and uh, you know every year is a good year for gaming I think that uh, every year just gets better and better better games better things going on as technology develops and improves or anything like that we just get a lot of ton of cool stuff and everything like that uh, and it's just gonna be very exciting to see how all of these turns for the next year but let's go ahead and get started with this at a number 10 we have something uh, that I'm just gonna merge these two things together in one list. Uh, but this is gonna be the new generation consoles, the Xbox uh, Series X and the PS5. Now, we have a lot of information on the Xbox. Uh, we don't have a lot of information on the PS5 yet, um, but they are both confirmed now to be com uh, released at the end of the 2020, sometime um, during the fall holiday season. So it's very exciting to see how the console war is gonna turn out and like that. I don't have a dog in the race or anything like that um i i play pc and i have a P P ps4 and everything but uh i don't really have like a, a you know like a, a horse in the race or anything like that i don't really care for that kind of stuff if it goes well or not i don't really care it's just kind of exciting to see uh, new games and new stuff that are going to happen for this uh, generation a new generation and it's just exciting to see how it's going to turn out what's going to be going on and everything like that again this is just part of the excitement of the new generation and everything so it's very exciting to see what's going to turn out the ps5 again we haven't hired many news but the xbox we had a lot of cool stuff and news including games as well uh, but let's go ahead and move into the actual games and at number nine again in a particular order we have cyberpunk 2077 um i'm a huge fan of cyberpunk the uh, style the aesthetic of it and um i have read a couple stories i, I do read a lot of books uh, so I am very excited for this game just because of the type of game that it looks like it could be. I like CD Projekt Red and I love um, The Witcher 3. So uh, looking at that point, I'm just very excited So how this is going to turn out. This is going to be interesting to, to see it looking at that direction or everything like that. It just looks like it's going to be really good. Uh, but moving next, we have Persona 5 The Royal. And what can I say about Persona 5 The Royal? This is a Persona channel. You guys know I love Persona and I will talk about it a whole lot. But Persona 5 Royal, for those who do not know, is a um, remake of the original Persona 5 vanilla game with new gameplay, new um, story elements, new characters. Uh, this is a full on remake with a bunch of new stuff added into it and everything. Uh, it's supposed to be expected to come out uh, sometime March 2020. So, uh, very close to the, end, the beginning of the year. I'm very excited for it. A lot of people in Japan have already played the game and it has really good reviews so far. So, I am very excited to get my hands on it and get to play it again. It's gonna be a, a full on experience and I'm just very excited to, to see it, how it's gonna turn out and everything. Speaking of expectations, so there's another game that I'm very excited to for to play it and everything, and that is gonna be a Final Fantasy uh, 7 the remake. And this is again very exciting stuff because it's just brand new things to do, brand new game, and this is gonna be exciting to to see it uh, in a full remake, just completely different. It's been a long time since we saw this this franchise going from what it's been on to until now uh, so just exciting stuff to to see and the only thing the only thing uh, like i said is just it just looks amazing the graphics looks really good it looks like they're doing something interesting with the gameplay and everything like that and um well Final Fantasy has fallen out of grace for me as far as the excitement and hype and everything like that. I cannot deny that my hype for Final Fantasy VII is, is up there. It's really up there, uh, especially with pretty much all the stuff that they've done so far. It's just pretty exciting and interesting. Uh, but moving on to number six, uh, we have another game that um, I'm very excited for it, uh, just for many different reasons. That is Elden Ring. Now, Elden Ring is not confirmed to particularly come out on 
uh, 2020, but I do believe that it might be. Um, we had a really good year, uh, the last few years really, with, with the games from from software when it comes to things like Sekiro, the Dark Souls games. I mean, it's every time that they release a game, it's, it's, it's a success in many different ways. Um, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice my, was my second favorite game of 2019, so hopefully a little ring will deliver on that. We do have the guy from uh, Game of Thrones working with um, them on this game, so this is gonna be heavy on story and, and everything, so and I'm looking forward to that a lot. Uh, moving up next, we have Ghost of Tsushima, another title that has been highly anticipated, uh, it's been delayed already once and uh, we heard things about it and we didn't hear a lot about it for a while and everything like that, uh, but overall this game is going to be fantastic, I think the kind of gameplay that we've seen so far, so to speak, with the story and everything like that, looks really good, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing as well, I, I can't wait for it, it's just exciting and uh, exciting <laughs> super cool stuff there and at number four we have the the last of us part two now this one is interesting because um also delayed game from sony um but more than that this is a long-awaited game i mean it's been in development for quite a bit um everybody that played the last of us the original one can tell you this is probably one of the most anticipated games for for 2020 just with the kind of story that look they did do the last game the gameplay everything about it was extremely good so um i expect nothing short of amazing from this series and i'm, I'm thinking that it's gonna be a really good one because everything they've done so far has been pretty good so definitely excited for for this stuff very very excited at number uh three we have persona 5 scramble now persona 5 scramble is uh not confirmed to come out in america on 2020 it is coming out in japan in 2020 we don't have an american western release yet um but persona 5 scramble or strikers as it's gonna be named in america is basically a uh, sequel slash um side game for persona 5 uh it includes uh, sequel elements but it also includes a new type of gameplay mushu style uh, where you're going finding um waves of enemy the type of uh, the warriors type of gameplay and it looks really interesting I, I say that it's gonna be something completely different from what we've seen so far from the persona franchise and it gets me excited it makes my blood pumping because i just want to see that action and see how it's going to turn out again a huge persona fan here so looking at how we're going to get persona 5 rojo and maybe persona 5 scramble the same year excellent year for persona uh, and moving up at number two we have dying light 2 now dying light 2 i put it here on the list because i had a really good experience in the first game uh, i actually played this with my best friend uh, the original one and i had so much fun with it, it, it we, we had endless hours of just hanging around and just playing side quests of the side quest and just killing zombies and everything like that it was a really good game i can't i can't deny that i had a really good fun with this game i'm really looking forward to how that's gonna turn out it's just it just looks like it's gonna be a lot better than the first one i said i'm looking at the trailers and everything a lot of you good good improvement in that aspect and my number one is gonna be um neo uh, 2 um i really really like the first game and i got a chance to get my hands on on playing the beta for Neo 2 so um, I kind of have my idea on the game and everything like that the new weapons work out really well the gameplay is as solid as the first one um, the graphics doesn't really improve from the first one but I don't think the game is a really ugly looking game so I think it's, it's gonna be fine either way um, this is definitely a game that, that I like a lot but I don't know if this compares well enough to something like Sekiro because Sekiro had something special I don't know I don't know if Neo had that as well but I was I still very excited for this game i'm excited to see what's gonna uh, come out from the series and everything like that i'm just super excited to to uh to see it develop and everything like that and some notable merchants since i said top 10 but there's a couple games that i kind of want to mention here and there we have um another game that we heard, we don't have a lot of information on and we don't actually don't even know if it's going to come out this year but it looks like it will be 2020 and that's going to be gods and monsters why am i looking in, and why am i interested in this game is because this is made from developers of the assassin's creed games and i actually really like the assassin's creed games 
because of the kind of story and gameplay elements and it looks like this is going to be taking a lot of the greek elements into it which is kind of the stuff that i really like about video games in general uh so very excited for it i think this is going to be a unique experience to play through and i'm just i'm just looking forward to it i think it's going to be fantastic i really am we do have uh, halo infinite the new uh, halo game coming up for the uh, xbox series x uh it's gonna be exciting and interesting to see it um hellblade uh 2 also for the xbox um and pc so very exciting stuff there uh, another game here that i'm kind of looking forward to is gonna be uh dragon ball z kakarot i think that's that's awesome i think that it's gonna be an interesting game to look forward to um just because i love dragon ball z and, and anime and that kind of stuff and the last one is um marvel's avengers so this one Again, I'm not I'm not entirely kind of stolen on on yet. Uh, you, the gameplay looks interesting. Uh, the characters don't look really good. I'm gonna say the, the models or anything don't look uh, good to me. But uh, I love Marvel and I kind of I wanna really wanna give it a try and see. Maybe um uh, maybe I'm disappointed, but maybe I just get my expectations blown out of the water. And that's what I'm hoping for here. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. If you like any of these games, let me know. And what is your most anticipated uh, game on 2020? or console maybe if you want to talk about that as well that's for today guys i'll see you guys next time